sued Facebook, that became the precedence. Nice. So somebody like you can potentially set a new one oh, against I, Section 230. Absolutely. We, we, I certainly have uh, legal options being explored. And uh, I don't want to say too much on the podcast. In this video, we are going to talk about Andrew Tate potentially launching a lawsuit against the big tech companies that have banned him from their platform. Now, Andrew Tate says that he's likely to sue Facebook and the other tech companies that have banned him, which could be anything between uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, you name it. He's been banned from it. And he was banned for the controversial statements, which he said, some of which I've played on this platform. If my woman replies to a man on Instagram, if she, if she likes another man's photo, she's out the fucking door. I, inst I inflict, I expect absolute loyalty from my room. And that is not mate guarding, that's not beta. That is just basic territorialism that comes with being a fucking man. I ain't having my chicks talking to other dudes, liking other dudes. To my chicks don't go to the club without me. They are at home. And you know what's so attractive about younger women? A lot of these dudes talk about fertility and, yeah. and looks and stuff. I don't actually think it's that. I think that in the modern world, in the days of old, right, you'd meet a woman, you get married, you'd be together, whatever, whatever. In the modern world, if I meet a girl who's 33 <laughs> and single, I know the amount of dick that's been through her before yeah. me is just simply unattractive. I don't care how nice you are, yeah, yeah. but you're 33 years old. How yeah. many men have fucked? If I get a 19-year-old girl, I might be her second or third man, right? I'm going to be dude number fucking 29. Yeah. And all the trauma and heartbreak and bullshit they put you through, through, you're gonna try and bring to my door yeah. like well my last man cheat i don't give a fuck yeah. yeah like i don't care like why is that my problem so if you pick up older women you have to accept they've been on the carousel longer they've had more fucking rides more spin yeah. i don't want that now the question is is he likely to be successful in a suit against these tech companies to get on their platform but in order to understand that you have to go to the law that is specifically on this issue. Now, now there is a law which gives tech companies broad protections, broad protection from these kind of lawsuits. That law is Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. The full name of the act is the Protection for Private Blocking and Screening of Offensive Materials. Now, if you look at Section 230, subsection C, Two, it speaks about civil liability of those tech companies. And it says that no provider or user of an interactive computer service, which could be Facebook, Instagram, etc., shall be liable on account of any action voluntarily taken in good faith to restrict access to or availability of material that the provider or users consider to be obscene, lewd, lascivious, filthy, excessively violent, harassing, or otherwise objectionable, whether or such that material is constitutionally protected. What does that mean? What that means is if any tech company feels that the material that you are posting on their website is obscene, lascivious, harassing, or otherwise objectionable, which is very broad, they can kick you off the platform. So essentially, they, based on the law, could kick Andrew Tate off the platform if they state that he, they felt anything that he posted was otherwise objectionable, it harassed people, basically any reason that they want that is not considered a discriminatory reason, they can kick Andrew Tate off for. It's very difficult to get past laws like this. There is one individual who did try to do it, and his name is Andrew Berenson, I believe. Alex uh, Berenson, who sued Twitter. Uh, and he sued them for kicking him off the platform because he posted something about a... Uh, issue in the pandemic that took place which i'm not going to go into because obviously we know that youtube doesn't like discussion about that when that lawsuit got to the discovery stage the discovery stage means you can now get information from the person that you're suing in, in order to advance that 
lawsuits. So they may have to provide documents or they can even sit for a deposition, meaning that you can ask a tech company to bring some, some uh, executives or employees to now sit with your lawyer to answer questions. When it got to that stage, of course, Twitter felt, thought, hmm, that's a bad idea to sit down and expose all of our secrets. So we'd prefer to simply settle the suit, and that's what they did, and the suit was withdrawn. So Section 230 has not really been uh, extensively tested because there aren't that many people that would uh, essentially like to take a big tech company with billions of dollars to court and think that they could win, but it would be interested or interesting if uh, this section was tested a lot more in courts. And Andrew Tate certainly has a right to bring this case to court, and uh, uh, you never know. A judge might uh, err on his side. However, given the wording of the statute, it's not very likely. So that's exactly why he will have difficulty suing these tech companies in court. If you like the video, make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe.